All right, so check it out. Uh, I think it's about time we show you guys our summer fruit stash here in Norway. So let's do it. Here we got our main fruit shelf and then we got a shelf over there as well. We'll, we'll check out both. First of all, let's talk about everything that's not bananas, okay? We got some oranges here. They're, they're sort of half decent. Some of them are okay, some of them are not. Uh, it's not a full meal though, just a few oranges. Same goes for mangoes. These Pakistani mangoes are... They're almost just just as good as Nam Namdok Mai mangoes, my favorite. They're just absolutely uber sweet and super, super delicious, but they're very expensive. Um, also, just a couple of those. I just ate three of them uh, earlier today. And here we got some uh, peaches, donut peaches, from probably from Italy, I guess. And then some uh, peaches, basically, some nectarines, actually, uh, of a large size. That is pretty much, except for we also, well, we, we'll go over here first. We have a watermelon, too. Here we got a watermelon. Uh, it looks kind of good, sounds kind of good, and we'll give it a try. So that's, that's pretty much all we've got for non-banana fruits. And you might ask, you know, <clears throat> why only this many peaches? Why don't we have, like, a ton of peaches? Why do we only have two mangoes? Why don't we have a huge amount of mangoes? And the answer is, we just love bananas. <laughs> We have a lot of bananas, as you can see here. There's bananas there, they're at a different ripeness level. These ones are almost ripe, they're ripe tomorrow. And then down here, we got another box, which is unripe, uh, ripening up there nicely. Then over here, we have uh, a big box, again, full of bananas, uh, ripening up, pretty much same level as those. And then here we have a different brand of bananas, uh, kind of different taste. Uh, also ripening up. Some of them are almost ripe, some of them are not. And, uh, and then we have another box of bananas just out there in the hallway. Um, all the same level as this one, which goes down to another place which is a bit cooler, so that we have spreading them out a little bit in terms of temperatures. Um, we just find bananas to be so consistent, you know, it's just like breakfast, lunch, you know what you're getting, delivers the calories, sustains you. It's just a very, very consistent fruit that I just really enjoy the consistency of, of eating a lot of bananas. Um, with, when it comes to the mangoes, it's, it's just, they're extremely expensive. That's one of the reasons why we don't eat meals of mangoes every day. But we could do that. That would just be a matter of priorities, you know, if we wanted. If I wanted to spend about $1,000 per month on mangoes only, I could eat a mango meal every dinner. You know, that would be good. But I don't want to spend $1,000 on mangoes every month. Uh, not at this point anyway. And the other thing is that I kind of have a slight allergic, ever so slight allergic reaction to mangoes, so they, they leave my mouth feeling kind of awkward. Uh, so I just end up, again, not preferring to eat it all that much. It's sad, but it's true. The peach situation is uh, basically that they're so inconsistent. Like, you, when you get a good peach, it's just amazing, but every third peach or so is crap. And then you buy a huge batch and you sort of have to throw away half of them and it's just it's over the years I've just gotten to a point where I'm just like you know I'm happy with my, my bananas they, they give me exactly what I want exactly when I need it and I'm happy so that's why we have a lot of bananas and this is just pretty much we buy bananas every three days or something like that a case of bananas so we go through them pretty quickly um, and yeah, this is just our summer fruit stash, bananas. We, we also have some dried fruit here. These are uh, dried uh, figs. And then um, dates. Dried figs and dates. So they sort of act as caloric top-ups or, you know, you know, just snacking or workout fuel, training fuel, all that sort of thing. All right, that's all for today. Um, we got a lot of bananas as you saw and we have a few fruits in here and there where we kind of snack on them maybe before dinner or or after or whenever we feel like having a little bit of a snack but mostly our diet is just consisting of bananas thanks for watching let me know down in the comment section uh, what
fruit dominates your fruit stash nowadays. And if you're interested in learning more about why bananas are so awesome as a staple on a fruit-based diet and why you should uh, make them your staple, how to buy them, how to store them, how to ripen them, that sort of thing, you might want to check out the little banana book. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'll see you around. Thank you.